What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing my vintage video game tea collection. So unfortunately the past couple weeks, the flea market has been pretty dry, which is why there's not one today or there wasn't one last week. So I haven't really been picking up too much. I think the best thing I picked up last week was a pair of Royalty 4s in a size 11, but I'm not gonna make a whole video on one pair of shoes. So instead I'm gonna go ahead and do my vintage video game tea collection for you guys. I want to go ahead and do this because today, as you guys are seeing this video, is the DFW Vintage Swap Meet. I am gonna be vending there with a friend of mine, so if you guys are are there come by and say what's up but I want to go ahead and make this video because I'm probably gonna be getting rid of some of these because I just don't wear all of them and uh, there's just no point in me having all of these tees if I'm not gonna wear them so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys uh, my collection what it is right now so these aren't gonna be any particular order or anything just kind of like what I pulled them out like uh, the first one is the Tekken 5 tee right here for the PS2 that one is on the Fruit of the Loom tag the next one is the Steel Harbinger tee right here for the PS1 and that one is on the Power Pro Onita tag this tee is brand new never been worn it just doesn't have the tags and then on the back you have the big graphic right there steel harbinger for the playstation one like i said next up is one i'm probably gonna end up getting rid of just because i don't like the fit on it and that is the crash team racing tee right here again another ps1 title you have the ps1 logo on the sleeve and then on the other sleeve you have the universal studios and then on the back you just have the big graphic crash coco and cortex i'm just not a fan of the length on this one so this is going to be one of the ones i'm getting rid of next tee we have is the i ninja tee right here which was a gamecube title i think it was on xbox and ps2 as well but again this one is also brand new without tags this one has the namco logo right there on the chest and that one is on the haynes tag next up we have another capcom tee that one is on the Fruit of the Loom tag, and it is the Dark Watch T right there, a game I've never played, so this is probably gonna be another one I'm getting rid of. Next up, we have this one right here, the Crystal Dynamics. You would think it's a Gex T because Gex is on the front. This one is on the Anvil T, but it's actually Akuji the Heartless, which was a PS1 game that I've never played. Again, this is gonna be one that I'm getting rid of. Then you got the Edos right there on the sleeve, single stitch. Next up, we got the Armor Core 2 T, Hardcore Gamer, and on the sleeve you have for PlayStation 2. And then you have Age Tech on the front, that one is on the Haynes T, and this one I'm probably gonna get rid of because it's a little bit on the smaller side. Next up, we have another PS1 game, again on the Power Pro Onita tag. Cut your umbilical cord to Mother Earth. And then on the back, you have Street. Next tee up, we got the Duke Nukem right here. That one is on the Haynes tag. And then on the back, you have Come Get Some with the big like Nuke logo. Next up, this one I was kind of on the fence about getting rid of, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it just because I was not a big fan of this game. And that is the Fighting Force 64 tee right here. Again, brand new, fresh out the plastic. You got the Eidos on the sleeve. And then the uh, Fighting Force 64 on the front and then you have the fruit of the loom tag i was on the fence about this one because i am a big nintendo 64 fan that is my favorite console of all time as you can see i have like seven consoles behind me but i just don't need it i have plenty more tees that um i'm gonna wear more than this one next tee we got is the nintendo ds tee right here that one is on the port and company tag and then on the back you have the screens the top and bottom screen next up one of my favorite ones in my collection we got the san andreas tee that one is on the pro club tag you have grand theft auto on the left sleeve tiny rockstar logo on the back i mean whose favorite gta is not san andreas <laughs> this one's actually pretty cool we got the uh, capcom tee right here on the all style tag but what makes this one cool is it actually has a bunch of like the capcom games from the gamecube era on the back next tee is a very basic one but uh definitely a still a cool one and that is the ps2 logo right here that one is on the delta tag and then you got the playstation logo on the back of the neck and if you guys have been following my channel for a while you guys know i'm a big persona fan so of course i was gonna have these so the first one we got is the persona 4 arena and golden tee right here for my knowledge this one was given out at an e3 that one is on a gildan tag you got teddy on the front you got persona 4 arena and persona 4 golden by atlas one of my favorite series of all time might as well do these next ones too since i just did that one we got the persona 4 dancing all night tee with teddy on the front the persona 4 tee right here which again i think this was a e3 tee if i'm not mistaken so this one's kind of hard to come by you got persona 4 on the back and then on the front you got persona 4 with uh izunagi and then probably my favorite persona tee i own is this one right here the persona 4 tee right here this one came with the collector's edition of persona 4 when it released and you have one of the personas right there it's uh yuki goes but i don't think anybody's even gonna know what i'm talking about the next one we got is this one right here which this one okay this one's pretty funny because my brother he was probably like six seven and he was playing this game all the time and it's the bmx triple x t right here and if you guys don't know it's like a bmx game and it has like nudity and stuff in it it's like an adult bmx game it's kind of weird and then on the front you have scores which was the strip club that was in the game <laughs> and i just every time i see this it reminds me that my brother like to play that game like crazy when he was little like i said i'm um, big fan of anything nintendo 64 so when i saw this one pop up for sale i had 
to grab it, and it is the uh, NFL Quarterback Club 99T right here. And you got all like the logos down there on the bottom. This one right here is pretty cool. We got another Edo shirt. What makes this one cool is the back. You have Laura Croft, Gex, and then I don't know who that is. Whoever it is, it's from a game I probably haven't played. <laughs> Next up, another 64 Classic. We got the NFL Blitz T right here. And then on the front, you have Property of Midway. This one right here is kind of a hard one to come by. Still dead stock, and that is the E3 Ready to Rumble 2 uh, Midway T from 1999. You can see it's dated 1999 right there. But what makes this one cool is on the back, you have the uh, big E3 logo, and it has a bunch of the Midway games that came out that year. So this is a pretty unique one that you don't ever see. The next one we got is the Final Fantasy 7 Cloud T right here. The way that I found out Cloud was 21, <laughs> only on PlayStation, you just have Cloud standing back there. And then on the front, you have the Final Fantasy 7 logo and Squaresoft on the sleeve. This is a classic T that you see all over the place. Next one we got is the Clock Tower 3 T from the PS2. I haven't been showing you guys the tags, but I doubt you care about that. This one's on a Haynes tag. And then on the back, you have the big graphic from uh, the cover of the game. Next up, we have a GameCube classic, the Eternal Darkness T right here. And on the back, you have Do You Hear the Voices. This is uh, the game that's on GameCube, the horror game that kind of messes with you, like pauses your game and messes with your memory card and all that kind of stuff. The next one we got is the Twilight Princess T right here, Legend of Zelda. Always looking for anything Legend of Zelda, one of my favorite series. The next thing we got is the Resident Evil T right here with the zombie on the back. And on the front, you have Capcom with the GameCube logo on the left sleeve. So this is from the remake of Resident Evil on the GameCube. Another Nintendo 64 T. We got the Doom 64 T. Probably one of my most worn ones. And then on the back, you have the big uh, to hell with you. I wore this shirt to a church garage sale one time and I didn't really realize what I had on. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was trying to figure out why everybody was staring at me. And then when I got home and realized what I had on, I figured it out. The next tee we got is the Sonic 3D Blast tee right here. Big graphic on the back and on the front, you have the little Sonic 3D Blast on the Power Pro Anita tag. Next up, we have the Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer tee. Not the biggest Star Wars fan, but anything Nintendo 64, I'm gonna grab. This tee right here is probably my most worn video game tee out of my collection. Uh, definitely one of my favorite ones. That's the uh, all over print Donkey Kong 64 tee. That one is actually on the Toltex tag. From what I understand, it was released on the Toltex tag and it was released on the one size fits all tag. And I think this is kind of like the harder one to come by, the XL Toltex. And then on the back, you got He's Back and staring at you menacingly. Definitely one of my favorite tees in my collection, if not my favorite tee. Next one we got is the Shinobi PS2 tee right here. Again, another one that I'm not a big fan of the way it fits, so I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. Sega on the front. Next one we got is one that you don't really see too often. You can't really tell what it is from the front, but when you turn it around the back of the neck, you got this Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I'm kind of on the fence about getting rid of this one because I want to keep anything Nintendo related, but I don't really wear this one too much. And um, I kind of wish the graphic was a little bit bigger on that one. The next one we got is the Monster Hunter Capcom T right here. Capcom on the sleeve, Monster Hunter on the front. Again, another one I'm not the biggest fan of how it fits, so I'm probably gonna be getting rid of that one. Next one we got is the True Crimes New York City T. And this one's actually a Puma T, which I thought was kind of cool. And then on the back, you have Run the Streets with the New York Skyline. This was my GTA growing up for a while because I actually had a GameCube. I didn't get a PS2 until like later on and I still like them to this day. They're pretty good. And I know I said I wasn't going to do them in any order. The last ones I'm about to show you guys are probably some of the better ones in my collection. I guess it kind of just ended up that way. But we'll start off with this one. We got the Crash Warped T right here. PS1. You got Crash and Coco on the motorcycle. And on the front you got Get Warped with the Crash Warped logo. And you got like the Naughty Dog and all that on the sleeve. Again, this one is brand new. I've yet to wear this one but fresh out the plastic. Next up is one of the more recent pickups. That is the Nintendo Play it loud 1994 T. You have the big Nintendo logo, Power Fest 94 on the chest, and then on the back you have Play It Loud, which was like the series of Game Boys that they made, which I have a complete box one up there. It's probably not showing up in camera. It's up there though. The next one we have is the Street Fighter Alpha 3 T right here. Capcom on the Toltex tag. But what makes this one really cool in my opinion is the back graphic. You have Ryu and Bison duking it out on the back and really, really cool graphic on that one. The next one we got is another brand new one. This one I'm kind of on the fence about getting rid of. Uh, just just because it is brand new. And I know once I wear it and wash it, it's not gonna be the same, but I'm not 100%, I kinda wanna keep it, and that is the Metal Gear Solid T right here, PS1. That is on the Onita tag, Konami on the sleeve, but what makes this one's really cool is on the back, you have the big exclamation mark. You know, the sound effect that everybody uses that a majority of people probably don't even know what it's from. <laughs> and then last but not least, definitely one of my favorites in my collection, is the 2003 E3 promo 
WarioWare Incorporated tee right here. You got, I've got more swag than you. You got Wario on the left sleeve. And then on the back, you have the WarioWare logo. And again, brand new, but definitely gonna get wear eventually. So that's it guys. That was my vintage video game tee collection. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Now I gotta go through them and figure out which ones I actually do wanna get rid of. But I know once I like start looking at them and stuff, I'm probably gonna end up keeping them. Um, if you guys wanna see any more kind of collection videos, let me know. I know I keep getting requested to do a sneaker collection video, which I actually did start a couple weeks ago to make. And then my camera messed up and the SD card corrupted, so I haven't went back to it. But if you guys still wanna see that, I can do it. But if you guys enjoyed this one, hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon with another one.